Good afternoon, guys. Well, when I upload this on Monday, the 13th, it'll be uh, in the morning, but you know, whatever. Recording this. Wow. I screwed up that intro. <laughs> it's the morning still. So. Oh, well, anyway. Whatever. Um, so, as you can see, I built most of the house before, and that would be because. Um, it was a new uh, design, not really design, but a new um, style of house, and I want to not give you guys, like, the first, I don't know, couple minutes of me trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe you guys would enjoy that, but I, I don't know. Um, so this is called Vampiric Victorian, and if you couldn't tell by the title, obviously, I got the vampire pack, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, Everything goes together magnificently. It's I love it. I love everything about it. Um, so this is my first Victorian, and I am actually pretty pleased with it. I am extremely pleased with it. <clears throat> and uh, I love the interior. I just I just love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um. So here's the study, and I really like how that turned out. I like all the old stuff. I actually like older looking things myself in real life. So this is like... <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is like something I would love to be in. Um, and there are two bathrooms, and they're pretty much like the same thing. <coughs> I'm sorry, like my throat is deciding to be like weird right now. Um... So headphone users, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I adore every single room, every single thing about this house. Um, I think the toilet though is really odd. Like, um, that's probably the weirdest toilet I've ever seen in The Sims. <laughs> yeah, so uh, anyway. And in here, in that area where the study and the bathroom is, I do put the, uh, I think it's called, yeah, I put the organ in there. Uh, I'm not sure if, I think that's, I think I recorded that part, um, but as you can see, I put a little, like, table in that nook area, and I'm not totally sure that you can get into it, so if you can't, I'm sorry. I just really thought it looked cute. And also, there's, um, two things I forgot to add in this house. <laughs> um, I forgot to put a fridge in here, and I forgot to put a toilet in the upstairs bathroom, so I do apologize ahead of time for that. Um, but this house is on the gallery, and it's, uh, you can use hashtag Vic or Vampire Vic Victorian or hashtag Graves Phoenix, and I'll also put a link to it um, in the description when this goes up. So, yeah. And I really like this kitchen, I love how it turned out. Um, I'm not, like, I love the new counters, but they don't seem too new to me. They just seem like different shades of different colors. Or not different colors, but like the same colors that we already have. Um, and so I did put a dining table like uh, right behind that wall there. And uh, I forgot to take a screenshot of it when I was taking them. So I had to like retake, I had to like go back and do it. And it's like an odd angle. <clears throat> because it wasn't, um, it wasn't, uh, do, it wasn't like, when, you know when you zoom in and it kind of like evens out, like, you're kind of like looking at it from the sim's perspective, it wasn't doing that, it kind of like tilted up, so it looked awkward. And I also do apologize for the terrible screenshot of the fireplace and the TV, I didn't realize how bad that it looked um, until I had already exited out of my game and started putting this video together. So, I'm sorry for that. But you can see it pretty great right now. <laughs> um, so I hope that you guys like this house. I really like it. Um, there are, uh, like I said, there's two bathrooms and there's also two bedrooms. Um, one is, like, a little baby room. And I love the new, uh, bassinet. It's so cute! Like, I'm so happy that they added a new bassinet. Like, I didn't think that they would do that. I am really pleased with it. Um, so here is the, like, 
I guess you could call it a master bedroom. Um, it's pretty, you know, plain and simple, and I like. I think the coffins are really beautiful. Um, of course, you can always change the coffins to normal beds if you don't want vampire sims, but you like the vampire -like look. Um, I do have a sim living in here, but she's not a vampire yet. <laughs> I did upload her to the gallery. Her name is Ember Cross. I'm pretty sure some of you might know who I'm talking about. If you don't, she's in the gallery. So, and here's the child's room. I made it like. I did put a toddler bed in there because, you know, it, she'll, he or she'll be a toddler eventually. So, um, and I love how easy it was to make everything like gothic looking. Um, and I didn't do much landscaping because it is like a vampire thing and I don't, I don't know how much vampires care about landscaping, so I didn't really do much. Um, but I can do that more in the future if you guys would like. So, um, we are going to be, we're getting super close to the screenshots now, so I hope that you guys love this house as much as I do. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for weekly since my videos I upload twice a week. And thank you to Test for Gaming for making my thumbnails. I'll see you real soon, guys. Bye!